Well, hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. Uh, what's today? Day three, I guess. First day we dug holes, second day we uh, filled them with concrete, and uh, today we're on to trying to figure out what level is going to look like here. So, uh, yeah, we're still at the mountain. It's, uh, it's nice today. It's probably about 38, 40 degrees. No wind, just perfect. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for sticking along on this build series. Um, get yourself something to drink. To me, today, I'm drinking some water and some Mountain Dew. But, you know, it is what it is. It's probably cold where you are. So get something warm to drink. Sit back, relax. Thanks for coming. Let's, uh, let's get to busy. Let's walk over here and take a look at this laser level. Uh, as you know, maybe you don't know, but we already did a, just a general setup how-to video. Uh, some things I, I, just, I guess I just didn't talk about before, right? So let's take a look here. So when you're setting up your, your laser level, the question to me was always, how high do you set it up, right? Are you setting it up at what you want or what you need? And the answer is no. The answer is, you need to know what you're shooting at and then you adjust plus or minus from there. So essentially I just set this up. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. So again, flip that to on, turn the on button there. You might be able to see the laser. I don't know if you can see it on the screen there, but we're flipping and flopping. Okay. So now we're going to walk back over here and I don't know how high that laser is. If I'm, I'm shooting for 36 inches for these posts. Uh, so uh, let's walk over here now. Everything's nice and dry. Poster set. And we're going to see if we can find where we're at. So laser's on. Remember I got, I don't know if you can see that. That's fine tuned. That's coarse. That's about what we need. The great thing about this laser is it front or back, it'll tell me. Oh, let's see. All right, I was playing with it a little bit there, but essentially we're at two feet, 11 and three quarter inches. You see right there where that tells me that's where we are. So that's going to be, that's, that's our, we add plus or minus to that. It'll, it'll make sense here in a minute. Let me, let me grab the uh, clipboard. I'm going to draw out these holes real quick and then I'll be able to keep track of which ones are which and where they go. Okay. So. As you can see here, I hope you can see that, right? I just drew out one through 12 on my circles. I might well, really they're squares, but you know what I'm saying. So, and Trip called it. When we were looking, when we tried to eyeball this the other day, we were like, yeah, what's the highest point? It's pretty obvious now that I'm standing back here, and especially when I stand down there, that up here, this first one where that grade stake is, is the highest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go figure out the height on that and then everything else will adjust off of this. So let me go figure out the initial starting height and then we're gonna go measure everything else. Uh, but I'll, I'll do that, then I'll come back. Okay, so one foot 11 inches is is the height that I measured on there, okay? So now I'll go measure the second one and we'll see how high that is and and then what, how much we have to add to it. Does that if that makes sense? Uh if not, let me go measure. I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay. So what we did, right? We started at 1 foot 11 inches on our base post right here. So now we're gonna make that a 36 inch post because I want at least 30 inches of clearance underneath the, the cabin. Thanks to the boss of the swamp, you gotta keep him happy. So we want 30 inch clearance. So I'm gonna do 36 inch post right here to start out because we're using six, uh, two by sixes. So, and I'm gonna set them on the uh, posts inset into the post so that'll give us about 30 inches of clearance um, so 36 so now when I go to this post number two I'm gonna do 
plus three inches because when I measured that post, it was two feet, two inches. So our starting is one foot, 11 inches, right? The next one was two feet, two inches. So I need to go up three inches. So I'm gonna cut that second post at 39 inches. You tracking? Now let's keep, let's keep moving along here and uh, get the rest of these measured and make sure I got enough six by sixes because I'm afraid once I get down here to the backside, I might be cutting six foot, uh, six foot posts, which ain't gonna work. And I might have to shorten this up up front here. So that's why I'm not writing the final number 39 here because I might have to just make this a little bit shorter uh, and then see where these come out down here. So let's get to busy doing that. So after about, I don't know, 25 minutes of me sitting down doing math on my worksheet here, so you can see, I got it laid out like this, right? So post number one, right up here, 36 inches is what we're gonna do. 39 inches, 42 and a half, 48 and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start marking these posts. We'll start with the number one here at 36 inches. I'll cut it, I'm, I'll write on the actual post number one so I know that it goes right here in this corner. Um, and then as we keep going, I did all the math to figure out we need 642 and a half inches of post, which comes out to be 53 feet. I have six, uh, six by sixes that are 12 feet long. So that comes out to uh, 72 feet altogether. Plus I have a piece from uh, Jerry and Norma, uh, Sean's daddy and, and bonus mom, uh, that we're gonna use as the foundation piece. So that's gonna be the first piece. That's gonna be the 36 inch piece that we use. Uh, kind of symbolic, right? They've been supporting us all the way along, uh, encouraging us, uh, gave us the six by six so we could make it part of the, uh, the, the, the mini cabin. So why not make it the foundation piece for the entire mini cabin for us to start the, uh, the base of our foundation. So a little tribute to them. So let's move the camera. We're gonna go over that way because I don't wanna carry those six by sixes all the way over here. I'd rather move the camera over there and then uh, we'll get to measuring these things out and I'll show you what we're talking about. So we'll check to make sure we're square. Nice and square right there. Get my tape measure. So this is gonna be number one. So we're getting 36 inches. Make my line. Let me double check. Yep, 36 inches. And then I'm gonna turn it. Get us 36 inches again. Now I'm gonna fire up the generator put my glasses on, put my earplugs in, we'll get this thing going. should have explained what I just did there so I just cut number one and number two then I cut number three and number nine so you remember all the math on my sheet here right so I'm trying to minimize waste um, so I'm just doing the math on these to figure out okay if I do whichever ones 
what's going to leave me the least amount of waste, right? Because lumber prices still aren't back to where they should be in my mind. Um, so I'm not trying to to go buy a bunch of a bunch of six by sixes because uh, they're just not cheap. So um, so that's what I'm doing. I know it was just doing a time lapse thing there, so that's why I paused it just so I could say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to do a little bit of math so I can figure out how to how to minimize that waste. That's it. So think about that. If you use posts in the future, don't just cut them willy nilly and have pieces left over. Try to try to do some math and figure out how you're going to minimize your waste. There's your tip for the day. Well, we got uh, we got them all cut. These ones look pretty close. Oh no, nope, sorry. This way. Those look pretty close down through there, but I must have done some some janky math. Because if you look this way, <laughs> those are not level. They just continue to go up and up and up. So I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. The good news is I have enough uh, six by sixes so that uh, I can I can always take more wood away, right? I can't put more wood in there. I can take wood away. So let me uh, let me do some math, figure out what I did wrong here. And uh, and then we'll come back and see if we can't get these straight. And I might just wait until I screw them all into place before I start cutting anything. Especially now that I know that those ones on the back are just way too long. And then these two in the middle do not have their uh, their plates yet. Uh, because the concrete's still just a little bit soft. I don't want to drill a hole into it and put those anchors in there just yet. So... Let me uh, let me do that math and then we'll come back and see what we're going to do. I readjusted the level so that our base post, number one post right here, uh, gives me a, a, a an alarm. So you see I'm level... Oops, you can't see it. I'm level right there, which is is lined up with this little piece right, right there. So... So much for eyeballing it, right? This is, I guess, why people say don't eyeball stuff because it's not accurate. This doesn't look, that looks like it's going straight uphill. Um, but as I go along and I check all of these, I mean, maybe that's a quarter of an inch off. What's even more astounding is this one back here. These two actually, because it looks like it's just going straight uphill. So put it right there. Same thing. I mean, look at that. We're dead, dead on it. And maybe what's that? A quarter of an inch. And I don't have these bolted down yet. I don't have them strapped down to the to the base plates yet. But that might be a half an inch. Uh, but it, it's it's amazing to me. So the good news is, let's walk down to this. Let's lock, let's walk down here in the woods a little bit, and then we'll look back up. And you can see. I'm kind of excited. I mean, you can see we're going to have a good space underneath the front of this cabin. So whenever I try to do uh, plumbing, electrical, whatever I need to do underneath here, storage, we're going to have plenty of space to put stuff underneath there. So that's that's super exciting. Not exciting that in order for me to close it in, I'm going to have to spend a ton on uh, uh, plywood, but it all worked. So... Uh, Let's uh, let me move some cameras around and let's uh, let's start getting these bad boys bolted into place. So uh, we might be able to hang some six by sixes today. And we got to check for square. Don't forget to check for square. So let's do that. Just for demonstration purposes, because I don't know if I can do this and record at the same time uh, and talk. So you see the bubble. We're trying to go left and right. We're trying to get touch the string. So. See down there, I just want to be nudging the string, but I want our bubble to be level. And we need this bubble to be level. So we just got to keep shimmying back and forth. Ooh, not that much. That's not a shimmy. So right there, we've got a level bubble touching the front string. We got a level bubble. Not touching the side string, so we got a nudgy nudgy. There we go. I'm gonna tap 
a little bit on the foot same thing pushing the string come back there we go and there we go so now you see what I'm trying to do I'm just getting touching the string get the bubbles level and then I'm gonna screw it in at the bottom like I said though I'm not I'm not gonna be able to hold the GoPro level it and screw it at the same time so we'll flip it back to the cannon and uh, we'll just go through it like that Okay, so I got the four corners nailed down. I don't think my concrete's dry though. They're still a little, little wobbly. I might hold off on doing the rest. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna check to make sure we're still square. So 24, 16, I gotta go look at the calculator again. I can't remember, one, 24, 28, 28 feet, 10 inches and, a, and an eighth, maybe something like that. I'll look, make sure we got it right, but uh, so yeah, I'm gonna check square real quick. Uh, something just to note, um, as you're doing these corner posts, make sure, like I just put these other posts up just so I could take pictures and send them to people and say, hey, look, this is what I got done. I should have taken them down, uh, just in case one of them bumps into a string, right? Because I'm going off the strings and I'm using the level so if, if one of these is leaning against a string, pushing it out, it's gonna put us out of, out of square. So uh, just make sure that none of those are, are bumping on the strings as you're going around trying to get all these things secured. Another tip for the day, I'm on a roll. Once we get all this kind of buttoned up and strapped up, like we can still twist it a little bit to get it where we want it. So I'm not super worried that we're off by an inch here and an inch there. Uh, I think, like I said, I think we'll be able to we'll be able to tweak some things and, and make it work. Yeah, let's finish buttoning these things up and get them uh, get them secured. As you see, I put the rest of them down, and uh, I'll just start working my way around, and then we'll come back. We'll Set these two in the in the center, possibly. I might wait till tomorrow. I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to to, dr to drill those uh, and set those two center posts. And then maybe today we'll see if I have enough time. We can at least get the outer boards uh, up 
or at least get the studs cut. The six by six is cut how we're gonna lay the posts, uh, the six by sixes, on, two by sixes on the six by sixes. So uh, enough of me jabbering, let's, uh, let's get this done. I think that looks pretty good. Some are still a little shaky, uh, which I think is to be expected with these uh, post bases. I think they're intended for a deck, not for a cabin. But uh, yeah, we got it there. So now I think uh, we still got a couple more hours of work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna measure the tops. So we're using, like I said, two by sixes and I'm gonna notch out the, the uh, edge of the posts so the two by six can sit right on it and then we can use that to square it up so uh, if I can get at least half of these cut out today I think we'll be in good shape so that tomorrow I can go ahead and band it and then square it again and then maybe start on floor joists tomorrow so uh, yeah let's do that okay so here we are at this stack of two by sixes um, this might be common knowledge for most people, some people maybe not. But a two by six is not actually two by six. It's actually, let's take a look. There you see, I don't know if it's focusing. It's trying to focus. Well, it's five and a half inches and it's not two inches thick. It's only an inch and a half thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around uh, with the, the uh, speed square and we're gonna mark all these out so uh, we can cut them out. So what I'm talking about, for anybody that's confused, so here we go, right? I'm gonna measure down five and a half inches. I'm gonna make a line. I'm gonna measure in an inch and a half, make a line, inch and a half there, inch and a half there. Maybe I'll see if I can throw this GoPro on my head so you can see me as I do it and um, that way you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about or maybe I'll just do it and then I'll show you after I'm done that'll be a better plan I think let's do that all right so as you can see here gotta bend down a little so I made my inch and a half mark in right because the board's gonna go this way we're kind of in the center on a 25 24 foot and then I drew a line down cross and across the front right here so I'm gonna start out with the skill saw and I'm gonna finish with the um, uh, reciprocating saw uh, because that skill saw is not gonna go deep enough but I think it's gonna make a nicer, smoother cut for the most part uh, than the reciprocating saw all the way around. So let me fire up the generator and let's see how we're gonna do this. There you go. So now I don't have a two by six cut yet, but we'll use this piece to get the idea. 
So you see that two by six will sit right on there. Of course, it'll come all the way up and this has a little concrete on the back, so it's not gonna sit flush, but, but that's it's nice and flush right there and it'll run all the way down. So this, this post will support the two by six. So I'll have that here instead of sitting on top and then floor joists going on top of that, if that makes sense. So let's, uh, let's cut a few more of these out. So there you go, this gives you a little picture, a little idea of what I'm talking about. That two by six is just gonna sit right there. I'm gonna square it up here. This is just a 12 footer. Um, so, no, this must be a 16 footer. So, just for demonstration purposes, it'll sit right there. We'll nail it in place and then we'll put our floor joists from here to the other side. Uh, and then in the middle, We'll have two by sixes running horizontally to support them at the eight foot mark in the middle. So, yeah, so pretty good right there. I mean, that wasn't too bad. It only took me 30 minutes to get those couple of things cut down. So I think I'll, uh, I'll measure some more and see what we can get done. Well, hey, I think we're gonna call it right there for today. It's uh, just about four o'clock. And as you can see, I got this post done right here. Yep, there you go, this post, those four posts and then that far middle post. For these back four posts, I'm gonna to have to get on the ladder or that stepping stool that we have uh, because they're just a little too high for me to comfortably get up there with the circular saw and the uh, reciprocating saw. So uh, we'll call it here for today. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna call it a video for today because all I did was cut some boards. Uh, yeah, I was wrong. We're gonna call it a video there. Uh, I'm back in suburbia. As you can see, well, maybe you can't tell because it's just trees behind me, but we're back in suburbia, and this was what I was afraid was going to happen. I get to work, and I lose track of time. I don't realize how much content we have, and uh, the videos start to come out too long. So either way, absolutely love the, the progress that we're making. Uh, got all those up. Started getting them cut out all the way around so we could put those 2 by 6s on the sides, and... Uh, and I think, that's, I think that's a good video. I think there's a lot of good quality content here. If you think differently, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Either way, thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. We're absolutely blessed. I mean, and I know I say it on just about every video, but I just don't think you understand how truly blessed we are to be able to do this uh, and that, to have you along with us on this journey. Uh, it's, it, and it really is a journey because we're figuring it out as we go. Um, so, so thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. As always, if you like this content, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you know when we post new content. And uh, if you look up this way, uh, we'll post a, a video up there, probably something related to this build series. And um, yeah, thanks for coming. Truly, blessings all the way around. And uh, as always, be safe. We'll see you next time.